Chip Award on behalf of Dean Bank and uh, WMRC, my FM 101.3, and uh, for her outstanding leadership and service within your school and community and promoting the welfare and health of all. So Thank congratulations, you. Emily. Thank you. All, right. all right, so Emily's Thank being presented the award from Kevin Goff, president of Dean Bank. And um, let's, uh, let's pass that mic over to Principal Cuban here. <laughs> Hello. How are you, sir? It's, it's on. It's already on. Thank you. Principal Rubin, how are you? I'm doing quite fine, thanks. Good to see you again. Thanks Good for having us back here. Oh, it's a pleasure. All right, you sat down, you wrote us a, an email, and it originated from a letter, of course, that you sent to uh, um, nominate to Emily here. Uh, talk about Emily. Why did you uh, sit down and put pen to paper, so to speak? Well, so. It's, 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 it's actually kind of, a, it's kind of a good problem to have. I mean, um, you know, we have a lot of, of student leaders, so when you, when you think, I think for us, particularly with this junior class, um, and looking at kids who are, have been emerging leaders over the course of my couple of years here um, it was actually not the easiest not the easiest email to write um, and then you know you think of all of them and then you think of Emily and the way she sort of stands out um, and and sometimes you talk about kids who are quiet leaders and Emily wears that hat sometimes and then there are times where we need her to not be so quiet and she does that as well um, and, and I say that with a lot of, of respect because sure. um, you know one of the things that I think we're trying to encourage here and and in our young people in general is is having a voice, and um, you know, from the first week or so I was here two years ago, um, Emily's been kind of a, a nonstop cog of energy in our our student on our school council, um, which has really revamped things here at Uxbridge High School over the last couple of years. And when when I need to get my, my my sense, or our staff needs a sense of what the the pulse is with some of the decisions that are made. Um, at Uxbridge High School, Emily's one of the first students to whom I turn, and wow. um, and and you know, there's something to be said about knowing that things are not just going to get done, but they're going to get done well, mm. uh, and that's what made her, uh, I think, to me, stand out among the the rest of a very very talented class. You talk about personality; it's so important. It goes hand in hand with being a leader, I think, and it's nice to uh, to find a leader that's also just enjoying. Uh, being fun, having fun, uh, having that voice, being active, being talkative, uh, that's really important too. You need that balance. Well, I think one of the things that really impressed me even going back a year is it didn't matter whether Emily was here till, you know, six o'clock at night for drama practice or later, um, or here at six in the morning or earlier to get extra help in math. Um, you know, she always was able to focus on the task at hand. And that's, that's not an easy thing for, um, for high school students in general. I mean, it's very hard sometimes for kids to be able to say, okay, I need to put my energy into this and focus on, you know, I'm at tennis practice, I'm gonna focus on tennis. I'm at drama, I'm gonna focus on drama. I need to put all my all into to doing well in this pre-calculus class, so I'm gonna focus on that. A lot of times you see that they're, see they're torn, but, um, you know, I, I see that, uh, you know, when, when there's focus, you get great things. Mm -hmm. and. Um, certainly in terms of both our school and I think our extended community, which is something her advisors and teachers can speak to probably with a, a greater degree of, of clarity than me, um, you know, Emily's really done well. Great, why don't you introduce some of the faculty? Yeah, I'm, I'm thrilled that um, both uh, Sheila Bernard and Sarah Gaudet, who have, uh, have known Emily, I think, in both academic and extracurricular capacities. Uh, Mrs. Bernard teaches English, Ms. Gaudet teaches, um, teaches Spanish, and uh, I think the, uh, the, the, the double bonus, I mean, some people talk about double whammies, I think the double bonus for them is, is they both pull, uh, are members of this community. They, they live in Oxbridge, and so there is this sort of, I think, added pride that they see in, in a student that comes to Oxbridge High School, lives in Oxbridge, and then does so much for their community as right. well. I mean, I, I, I say often, it's, it's not like I live in Oxbridge, so I don't sometimes see the the fruit of the labors that the that the people who actually live in town get to see, and um, you know, as both of them being being parents in the community as well, I think um, I'm really thrilled that they could be here because they get to see Emily's work on a lot of different levels that sure. maybe as the principal I don't. Well, let's talk about some of the outside um, activities that you see Emily getting uh, involved with. Um, hi, how are you? <clears throat> Good, how are you? Good, thank you. Well, let's start, we'll start with talking about Emily here and right. her role here at school. Emily, um, just briefly, like class-wise, I had her sophomore year, and um, she's a leader in the classroom as well, but like with everything else that she does, um, 
you know, she's involved in everything. She's involved in Hobie and she tries to get the other kids involved. And so her enthusiasm spreads to the other kids because she's trying to get them to go to the workshops and the camps and, and everything else. And um, to, I really, it's just her enthusiasm more than anything else that just kind of brings the kids in. She's willing to help and she'll do like the, you know, the hard work and she just doesn't like a name for herself, but she mm. truly is someone you can count on to get things done and she will, you can bounce ideas off of her and everything. So she's truly someone, um, you know, that the kids respect, that the teachers respect, and, you know, she has a lot. So. Is there a story you can, uh, you can cite or an example on uh, what she's given back to the school with her leadership? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Let me think. I, okay. I can come back to it. But, okay. Um, All right, let's pass the mic in, I guess. Hey, Mrs. Bennett, how are you? Good to see you. Good to see you. Oh, talk about Emily. Uh, what, what is your role in Emily's life here at Oxford High School? Sure. So I've had Emily um, for two years, her freshman and sophomore year, in, um, in Spanish um, one and Spanish two and two, two and three, and they were all honors courses. And you know, Emily is a genuine person. Emily, um, she wears her heart in her sleeve, and academically, um, you know, as far as extracurriculars go. Emily is that student that teachers want to have in their classroom. Um, she sees me every day with a smile, um, even on days when I had to, ha had to hand her back a quiz that maybe wasn't the best grade. Um, she still had a smile, and she would always ask, how can I do better? You know, How can I get better? And I think as a teacher, that's what we look for, is we don't look for perfection. We look for students who are willing to persevere and willing to give it their best, because at the end, it's their education, and it's their experience here in high school, and we're here to enhance that but it's what they do and it's what they take away from it that they're going to remember. And she'll leave her legacy on Oxbridge High School as somebody who is really um, just somebody that we all thoroughly enjoy. We're happy that she you know, was here with us for four years. I love the fact that you say that she's not perfect uh, <laughs> because I think the, the um, a good leader, could you answer that, Tom, for me, please? It says WMRC on it. That might be important. Um, yes. uh, I think the fact that she's not perfect is great because leaders need to learn and make mistakes and then learn from their mistakes Absolutely. so that they can lead better. Right, right. And I think she, she comes to us with, you know, a, an open mind about that, knowing that, um, you know, she's, she's, she's going to learn. I think especially being a young female and having a voice I think is so important because I think that that's something that we need to instill in, in, in females and young females. And Emily is definitely, um, I think, a role model for her peers. What's her relationship like with her peers? What do you see in the hallways, in the classroom, before class? She's paying attention in class, all right? Oh, <laughs> before class, after class. She's somebody who's just always surrounds herself with positive people. Um, and if, you know, and, but I think she also is somebody who people who maybe don't feel like they have a role in the school yet feel like they could turn to um, to find out, you know, what's out there. Um, because I think we have students that are sort of still looking for what is out there, um, you know, with regards to high school, and I think Emily um, is, has that personality that people feel comfortable talking to her and asking her, but she always has a smile on her face. She really always has a smile on her face. That's great. I can tell you all through this whole conversation Absolutely. she's had a smile on her face. And that's another reason she's, she's as genuine as I get. Uh, all right, let's pass the mic down and let's, uh, oh, Mike, no, no, no you're good, no, you're just helping. <laughs> Thank you. Emily, oh, how God. are you? I'm great. How are you doing? Good, thank you very much. And, and the laugh to go with this. I like that. Um, so talk about your time here at Oxbridge High School so far. You're um, a junior? So, yes, I'm a junior, junior this year. Yeah, this is my third year at Oxbridge High School. And every single year it just gets better and better. Yeah. I started out my freshman year totally eager to come into here. And as she said, with a smile on my face, trying to be very positive, but not really sure what I wanted to get involved in and all the staff and all the faculty and even the older kids here, they all introduced me to the things that I love today and that I want to spread to all the younger kids. So every year just gets better and better being able to learn and then give the knowledge to the kids on there. So I have to thank the faculty and the staff a lot for inspiring me and giving me so much and so many opportunities to live for. It's great. Talk about the, uh, the fun side of, of Uxbridge High School and your experiences just as a student, not as a leader, but what would you enjoy most about being here? Oh, we have a great time. Yeah. <laughs> um, we do a lot of fun, th in our classes we have a lot of fun times, like, it's like every class is very comfortable, even if you don't have a teacher, it's like they know you, yeah. so a teacher will come up to you in the hallway and be like, I read this essay you wrote for so-and-so, and it was amazing, like, keep up the great work, 
and so everyone's so supportive around here that it doesn't matter what class you're in you're always going to have a good time and you're always going to connect yeah and we do a lot of fun stuff outside of school so many fundraisers like this weekend we have dq night and you'll see teachers there and you'll see students there and some students that you're not really close with and you get close with so yeah. everyone bonds all the time together mm -hmm. which I personally think it's the funnest time. That's great. Yeah, we have a great time. You're involved in theater, I heard you talking yes, about. Yes, I love yeah. theater. Our theater has grown so much over the years. We had about 88 kids overall this year, and it doesn't matter like who's in what group. We have so many football guys just trying to get agility and their feet work better. And <laughs> it's great. We have such a good time. Everyone comes together, and it's a huge family. Great. Well, congratulations on your award. Oh, thank you very much. Thank you for having me. All right, everyone. Everyone's here for a